Welcome back to another video diary entry in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we see what's going on in our island of Vaughan Hollow today? Um, since last time, did I do anything? I don't think I've done anything. Did I? Mm, no, I don't think so. So, no new, no news, up, no what? N nothing new to update you with. Just like Isabel will probably say just about now. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if she proves me wrong. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 3.30pm on Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Is there really no news to share today? Guess so. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Halfway through the week. I just pat myself on the shoulder. And we'll get straight into it. And, um... Did I wrap presents? I feel like I didn't wrap presents. I didn't wrap presents, of course, because when I played again, Nooks was closed. But we got a letter from Lily. You know what, dear? Chores are boring and repetitive, but when I'm busy scrubbing away around my home, it's almost like a break. For a little while, I can get something accomplished without having to worry about anything. Know what I mean? Lily, of course I know what you mean. And there's a glowing painting from Jolly Good Old Red Bear. Hello, Lily. I'll give you our stuff later. Because we need to actually gift wrap it first. Because I didn't do that. I've been very bad. Fun fact. I've been very bad at playing. Um, during the times when Nook's actually open again. So. Oh, hello, Sahara. I'll talk to you in a second. We got to do that. <sighs> I should really play. It's just like every time I've been playing. Things are, as I said, a little bit busy. It's okay. Things will not be busy by the end of this week. Hopefully. Probably. <laughs> So every time I've been playing again, I've been playing at like 10 p.m. You know, just like interweaving it between uh, playing games with friends and stuff like that. Because we're playing a lot of Valorant, sort of, and Terraria recently. Unsurprisingly, because Val Valorant, a big release, and uh, Terraria have a, had a big update um, a while ago now. It's, it's been a bit, it's been about mm, 11 days and it's been fantastic. But, you know, it just eats up your time just playing games. Including this. So I have no backlog. I need to record some bug fables because I don't have any bug fables for today or tomorrow. Luckily I do have a he Heaven's Vault ready. Because I rec recorded one yesterday for... I don't even remember why. I was meant to record more Hollow Knight but I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I was playing Hollow Knight and I was like... I I I'm at a... If you don't watch a series, I'm at a situation where... I have I was feeling terrible because I was doing so badly. So I was like, you know, I'll have a break and refresh myself and record Hollow Knight. Maybe today. We'll see. I definitely need to record some bug fables. I might do three episodes for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then record Hollow Knight tomorrow. I have no idea. Everything's very last minute um, today, but it's okay. We'll have a chat with Sahara and see what he's got for sale. Because fun fact, in the Japanese version, Sahara is male, not female. He turned female in the Western release, I, I suppose. A female in this game. As well, but it's much more ambiguous, I think. Yeah, there's a fun fact for you. What other fun facts do I have? Um, you know, fun facts um, in watch adverts. Um, the clock is clock hands are generally set to ten past ten because it looks like a smiling face or something. I, I actually don't know if that's true. Well, I don't know if the smiling face part is true. I think the ten past ten part is true for all the watch adverts I've seen. We'll talk to Lily just quickly before she sits down, so we're not locked out on giving her a present. What other fun facts do I have? I don't feel like I have many fun facts. <laughs> There's a lot of fun facts in the world. Let me think of think, think of some. What about like illegal laws in America? Those are things you always hear stuff about. Isn't like one of them it's technically illegal to walk backwards after sunset or something? And one of them is illegal to sing the alphabet or something like that? This all seems very familiar to me. Uh, uh, um. Actually, I, I just had... That just like sparked a brainwave. Of memories. But that's apparently all, all Animal Crossing New Horizons does is I talk about random things and I get random like memories from when I was a child. Um, basically when we I was in, oh god, what year was it? Year of eight? Year nine? I don't know. So that's when I was around mm, 13, 14. Uh, we had to do uh, assembly and assembly is, I, I don't know, I'd imagine you might have as in America. It's like in the morning all the whole school gathers together and it's just like morning report stuff I guess. Or like, sometimes it's a week, which has a theme or something or whatever. Anyway, for what happened is that our, it was our class's turn, but we had to do an assembly. We had to basically do a presentation for that morning. And we did it on Fun Facts, now I remember now. 
and we all got to participate in one fun fact. And one fun fact, and the fun fact I did, I did it with Ali. And the teacher, actually. <laughs> and it was something about, oh, what was it? Um, that teachers had to have like a, a 50 page booklet manual or something about, um, oh, I can't remember. It was about using glue sticks or Pritt sticks or something. That, that sounds, that sounds about right to me. I don't know. I can't remember what we did for it. Like our skip thing was, I remember our practice for it. I don't remember what we did on the actual day. Our inventories for, I was like, why didn't she give us anything? Or he give us, they, they give us anything. Let's just use they, gender neutral. Um... Yeah, it was something about Pritt sticks needing some manuals, and it was enforced by the school board, and it was pretty ridiculous. So yeah, I'm trying to remember some other facts from it. Something about- oh, I remember one, it was like being illegal to tie an alligator to a fire hydrant, or was it a lamppost? Or was it a giraffe to a lamppost? Do we still have a full, full inventory? I didn't actually pay attention to if Roscoe gave us something or not. Oh. Oh, uh, why don't we open this? Oh, why don't we sell some things that we like these fishies? We don't need these fishies anymore. What other things do we have? Uh, 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 um, I don't know. I can't remember any of those fun facts anymore, to be honest. It did spark another memory, though. That's actually how I know the the, the watch hand um, fun fact, which I said at the beginning of this episode, it was back in year seven. So I was twelve-ish, I guess. Is that twelve? Yeah, that's twelve. In our class, what we had to do is, like, each day or something, we were each assigned, we each had to give, um, a fun fact to the teacher, to teach the rest of our class or something. And the watch face one wasn't what my one, it was the one I gave to Ali because he forgot to do his homework, classic Ali. And, uh, the one I did was, there was a special type of ant, which, um, self-destructs basically to attack people. I think it was like it has, like, toxic... It has toxins inside its body, or maybe it's like lining its stomach, and what it does is it like ruptures its stomach and explodes outwardly in like a a suicidal attack on what the perpetrator might be attacking it. Also, another bird wing butterfly just out of nowhere. You want a fun fact? That's a large, that butterfly has the largest wing, wingspan of any butterfly, I believe. Queen Alexandra's bird, bird wing butterfly. Eric's sitting down, <laughs> he looks so cute. Oh, lollipop, hold on, we need a picture of this. Surely, surely, surely. Let's be happy. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, we'll leave you to Eric. Actually, no, we should say hi to you in case we don't see you again. What other fun facts do we have? Tons of fun facts in the world. There's a load of, like, fake fun facts as well. You know, like, the one that, on average, spiders eat, like... No, what, spiders? <laughs> I was gonna say spiders eat humans. That's wrong. Uh, a human eats a spider. No, like five spiders over the course of a year. That's like a totally fake fact. It was just, in fact, wasn't it made up because um, it was testing how fast false information spreads or something on the internet? Or was it in general? I don't remember. Sorry, excuse my stomach. Making weird noises. Sidewalk flooring. Hmm. It's a very interesting uh, choice of brick road, to be honest. Put, put this down again. That's pretty cool, though. Um, I don't think it suits my house, but that's cool. Red vinyl sheet spread out. What does this look like? Oh, we have this. Why? I don't want to pick up a plant. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That stuff's pretty cool. Monster. And we'll put the wasp head model back where it belongs, up there. We'll clear our inventory. Actually, we should see if we got enough tickets from another. I was gonna say Gracie Grace. That's the wrong character. Um, Sahara mystery box. Oh, we should also take our net because we need a net. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Um. No, we've only got three. Let's go. Carry on with the rest of our day. More fun facts. Fun facts, you know. That's, that's one. Fun facts like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Everyone knows the ones about otters that they sleep together holding hands. And they have like a favourite rock that they use to break open the clams? Or is it oysters they eat? 
I don't really know. Maybe it's clams. Clam sounds right. And I only say it sounds right because I'm thinking of a for Pokemon Oshawa and they have like a little clam that they use to attack. Um, let's plant this red pansy here. Take a glance at wind flowers. Yo, mountain! Okay, reactions. Check it out. I didn't bust this one out just for anybody, but you and me are cool, eh? When your buddy's feeling low and you want to get him fired up, this one never fails. Ready? Ka! Bam! Did you get that? Being confident is contagious. Show show someone you're riding high and they'll rise to meet you there. Dun 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 dun. I learned the confident reaction. Time to take on the world. Thanks, Flo. Y you know what, Flo? You deserve something like that. You get and a fruit, an orange probably, while I drink some water because I'm very thirsty right now. Ugh, glug, glug, glug. All right, all right, all right. Caterpillar costume, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, we are going to dig up all these windflowers we've got everywhere. I don't want to accidentally talk to Flo again, disturb you on your day out. Hey Flo, you got any fun facts? What, what fun facts do you have about penguins? I don't know any fun facts about penguins. I know some species of penguins. It's like the, the blue fairy penguin is like the smallest penguin species. Is that right? And the king penguin is a bit largest. That might not be right. Don't quote me on that. Um, penguins, penguins. Don't penguins like mate for life or something? I don't know. I don't know many animal facts to be honest. I'm trying to think. Which is weird because <laughs> now I think about it. Um, excuse me, Flo. Sorry, I didn't mean to completely shove you out of the way like that. I remember I did a whole... Because, if you don't know, in university I, I learned Japanese for a little bit. I did my my whole presentation in my, like, final class or whatever was... A pre presentation about Japanese animals and facts about them. The teacher liked them. She thought it was a very good presentation. I'm trying to remember what I even learned from that, though. I mean, most of it was basically Japanese vocab rather than actual facts. How is there no space anywhere? What did I talk about? I talked about the Japanese spider crab. Oh man, I wish we could fish up a Japanese spider crab in Animal Crossing. That'd be so cool. If you don't know what they are, they're like the largest arthropods, I think. On the planet. J just Google them. Like, when me and Ali went to Japan, we, we saw them in the Kaiyukan Aquarium, the, the, the Osaka Aquarium. It They are huge, monstrous-looking creatures and amazing. <laughs> They're one of the coolest creatures I think I've ever seen. It's just, you look at them and you're like, wow. Nature sure is crazy, isn't it? I mean, I suppose you can, you, you'd probably think that's for a lot of different um, creatures, to be honest. Let's get Mysterious Flora in. Oh, really? Wait, what did, what did we not buy for you? Oh. Oh yeah, you, we did. I don't know why we kept talking to Sahara then to try and get some more stuff. <laughs> Apparently I just wasn't paying enough attention. Oh well. Hmm. What other fun facts do we have? Well, I shouldn't say fun facts, because most of these fun facts are things that I'm relying on my memory to remember properly, and I'm not sure if I remember them correctly, so they might just be totally incorrect, and I'm just, I'm just spreading lies, you know? It's not my intention, but it might be what might be what's happening. I'm sorry. Please do fact check, though. Don't rely on me as your only source, because just that's just a horrible idea all around, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think I have any other fun facts. It's really hard to think of something just like off the cuff, you know. Isn't it? That's like a type of memory sort of thing, isn't it? It's really difficult to, for example, be like, hey, list all the books you own, as opposed to um, just remember asking you if have you read, uh, say, Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone or something. You'll probably know, but you probably can't name all your books, even though if I asked you about every book in the world, you could probably tell me if you've read it or not. Probably with decent accuracy. It's a thing about like rec recollecting information versus um, not recollecting information, more like how it's stored, right? I didn't mean to show myself. I want to release you, go back into the wild. It's about um, 
Oh wow, sea bass. I was, I was gonna say, I was like, do we get one for releasing a sea bass? Because um, I suppose it's like fact checking, you know. You've got all the books you've read stored in your brain somewhere, but to have to go through and sort through every single one in your memory and recollecting all of it is much harder than just like fact checking if one of them's in the database or not. I don't know how else to say it. A leaf mask? That's interesting. You ever notice that Audie and Lily are wearing the same dress? Just Audie's wearing a cyan version and Lily's wearing a white version. That's what was interesting. It's different from what Lily used to wear in previous games, I, I swear. I can't remember what she used to wear though. <laughs> it's been so long. What could it be now? I feel like all the fun facts I have in my brain are just like fragments of facts and I don't have a full story. They're just sort of like put bits and pieces of random facts just swimming around in my brain which I can't match up to things properly. So it's not really a fun fact episode. Why don't we look up some fun facts, you know, while we're doing this. Why don't we go fun facts. 200 fun facts that will make your life better. Hold on, Google has a fun fact generator. How many stripes on the American flag? That's not a fun fact. What? Excuse me? And it's 13, isn't there? Yeah, for the 13 original states. I know that. How do we produce a purple tulip over here? You're meant to make oranges only. Oh, you're meant to make pinks only. I've clearly gone somewhere, gone wrong somewhere in the flower breeding. 200 fun facts that will make your life better. Banging your head against one, against a wall for one hour burns 150 calories. Okay, these facts are kind of boring. I've got bored. Huh, okay. So we, that's how we make whatever I just made. A leaf mask. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Is it literally just a mask of a leaf? <laughs> Is it meant to be the, um, that Legend of Zelda reference? Like, what are, what are they called? Co cor coro? Coro coros? I don't know if I just made it up or not. I'm sorry, I haven't played any of the Legend of Zelda games. But fun fact about Legend of Zelda. I don't have a fun fact. Um, I don't know. I should probably stop going along this tangent if I've completely run out of things to say, you know? It's, you know, just like bail. But I'm still, on, I'm still trying to think of fun facts. I used to have so many uh, animal fun facts in my brain because I used to... Um, I had this book called like a thousand facts about animals or something or a thousand facts you didn't know about animals I can't remember exactly and I read it like cover to cover a few times it was really interesting I don't remember like any of it though hello Vivian just eating a sandwich oh it's nice to see you too love hmm Oh well, I, I should probably not be a proponent of spreading false information. There's probably enough of it on the internet already. Let's talk about something else. Should we talk about sandwiches? What's your favourite sandwich? See, what's your favourite sandwich, Vivian? What are you eating there? Tomatoes, cucumber, it looks like. I can't see the rest of it. Hold on. She's just vibing cheese. Or is that ham? I don't know. It's pretty yellow to be ham, isn't it? It's toasted, though. What's my favourite sandwich? I mean, the classic is always BLT. I'm not sure that's my favourite, though. I do like bacon. I know it's like, the internet goes crazy over bacon. Like, the fact it's become a meme and probably overhyped. And then, you know, it's come around again to people not liking it. And then people like it again. I don't know. Um, I really like bacon. I think it's delicious. I would have it in all my sandwiches. Probably. Now the question is, if you could only have one meat in your sandwich, what meat would you have though? Because I'm not sure, maybe I'd go for chicken thighs over bacon. I know, controversial. But I also really like chicken, and I know that probably sounds crazy to most of you, because it's a thing about chicken, isn't it, is that it's got like, no taste. <laughs> it's meant to be a proponent for whatever other seasonings and flavours you have, I don't know. Something about chicken, it's just something I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. So that's what I choose to have. So probably some sort of chicken sandwich. Chicken and bacon sandwich. Chicken, bacon, lettuce. Obviously, you've got to have that sort of crunch in there. Um, what else would I have in a sandwich? No, we don't give it that way. I'd probably have mayonnaise as a base sauce because I love mayonnaise. And if you don't love mayonnaise, then that's fair. I just really like it. Put it, put it with everything. Actually, this is basically what I have when I go to Subway. Like... 
for rare, rare occasions I actually go to Subway, which is, I haven't been in the last past six years or something. When is the last time I went to Subway? I went very, very rarely back in secondary school because we had a Subway near our school. Oh, another green mum. But I only went, you know, at like maybe end of turn times. And that was like one of the first times I remember I had Subway. Of course, it was in secondary school. I didn't really know what it was like. And Ali was like, you've never had Subway? And I was like, yeah. I don't have fast food all that often. We've had McDonald's. We've had... Before before Subway. I had... Not before Subway. Before... I suppose, recently. I didn't I had KFC like twice before. I had Burger King like once. We had McDonald's quite a few times. McDonald's was quite a common one. Because when I used to go to Chinese school on the weekend to learn Chinese... Um, there was a McDonald's actually quite nearby the school, so sometimes we'd go there for a treat. But no, that's what I had been Subway. Oh, onions. How can I forget onions? Onions are like my favourite vegetable. I'd have like lettuce, onion, mayonnaise, chicken and bacon on a, on a sub with a honey dough brand? I don't really remember. And some of you might be listening to that and be like, that sounds gross. And you might be right. I don't know. I, I kind of liked it, to be honest. I mean, maybe there are things which don't go so great, so well together. Maybe things with their uh, ingredients out there which complement themselves better. But, you know, I kind of like it. I, my logic was I just walked in and put in the things I liked onto a Subway sandwich. And it'll probably taste good. And it did, to me, at least. Are you meant to breed a purple? Breed two purples to get a white. Okay, so we don't know if this is a correct one or not. So I'm going to keep it in my inventory and put it by Vivian's house. Or we can have a quick look at the, the flower guide. You produced a white. No, we, we don't want you to produce a white. Stop producing whites. Phrasing. Stop producing white roses. <laughs> we'll plant this over here just to make a note of ourselves. This one could be a bad one as well. It's a 50% chance for it to produce a, ye a yellow and a 50% chance to produce a white. So once it produces three whites in a row, that's when we know, well, we assume it's a bad one. It's a slow process, I know, but you know, you've got to have patience when it comes to this. Um, we, we should have a quick look at the, the rose guide, the flower guide, because I actually can't remember um, if, if we can, if, if two purple, t if two of these purples produce another purple if it's good or bad so i'm probably quite quiet because i'm leaning away from my mic rose 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 breed seed yellow 50 percent white you want to keep yellow 60 percent speed on bad purple seed white if you don't get any yellow strong you need two guys but i'm gonna remember that it was being pretty good but it's got white lost breeds hmm huh huh I don't know. That's something for future me. And I'm going to earn the side of caution and say, nah, we don't need it. A lot of purples, though. Vivian's... Was that purple or was that black? I don't know if I was going crazy or... Okay, that was purple. Vivian's very lucky. She's going to get an influx of purple roses by her house. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, Subway sandwiches, right? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I ever like craved Subway because I'm, I'm not someone who has fast food a lot but sometimes I get the cravings of like having McDonald's chips not nowadays to be fair McDonald's chips I, I'm craving for sorry that was poorly phrased not the recent modern McDonald's chips I feel like McDonald's chips have gotten worse or maybe my taste buds are no longer that of a child's I think they're kind of bad now to be honest like, I don't know why. They don't seem as appealing to eat anymore. I don't know if they've changed the recipe or something. You know whose chips have improved? KFC's chips. At least in the UK. Before, they were absolutely terrible. And now, they're pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty good. It's a huge step up. Huge glow up from KFC. To get very tasty chips in there, you know? It's impressive. Oh, that's a fossil. Oh, there's another fossil. I was going to say, we haven't seen many fossils today, but they're, they're all over here by Lily's house. 
Lily, your house is an archaeological site. Who are we not giving stuff to? Eric? Diana? It's always Diana. Where's Diana every day? We never know where she is. Is it just Eric and Diana? Do we only have two? It's just Eric and Diana. Now we've seen Eric, but he was sitting down, so we couldn't give anything to him. I also haven't really been checking Able Sisters all that often anymore. Mainly because of a nuisance of having to switch out of a costume. To buy clothes is really annoying to me, so I don't do it. I mean, you, you can buy clothes, I mean. Not in costume, but you'd have to do it. Like, it has to be the one, one of the ones that Mabel's got on display, not one of the colours hidden away um, in the back room. Anyway, let's see if Diana's in. She's in. Fast food, way. I feel like as I'm getting older, I don't really want fast food as much anymore, you know? I feel like that's quite a normal thing, but... It's like... Actually, I think what it is, is more like, I don't crave it as often anymore, but when I do crave it, I crave it more, you know? When I was a kid, I was like, ooh. I always want, why don't you always have McDonald's every day? I could eat McDonald's every day. Give me a, a double cheeseburger <laughs> with chips. Give me a happy meal or whatever. Nowadays, I'm like, you offer me like a Big Mac or something? I'm like, I think eight out of 10 times, maybe nine out of 10 times. I'm like, nah, sorry. I don't really, I don't really feel like eating one right now. You'd have to, oh, now if you offered a mayo chicken or the, what's it, the, the bacon and chicken mayonnaise the thing on their dollar menu i can't even remember what it's called that's pretty good that's pretty good i'd probably have that maybe like seven out of ten times no three, three out of ten times sorry reject it seven out of ten times i meant i just don't crave it that much anymore but then sometimes late at night i'm like oh, i could really go <laughs> for some chips or some fried chicken right about now and thankfully we don't live near any um fast food joints really that you can go to at midnight. Not like when I was in university times where I could just <laughs> walk two minutes and end up at McDonald's. Probably put on too much weight like that. What? Did I not open it? I put it away! I'm a fool! Okay, we'll, we'll quickly run and donate this glimmering painting and then we'll probably round off the episode there. Nothing really else to do today. We've just been Spent the time talking about fast food and I don't even know what else. What did we talk about earlier? Fun facts. Fast food fun facts. That's a great title for today. I don't have any fa fast food fun facts, though. Shame, really. Uh, fun fact, you know there's a McDonald's out there. There's only one McDonald's out there without the golden arches. And it's got, like, green arches or something instead. I don't remember. Where's the painting? Ah, there it is. Actually, that might not be true anymore. But now I think about it. One time when we went to China and we went to McDonald's, it was actually like the fanciest McDonald's I've ever seen. It looked like a full-on restaurant. It had like multiple floors. At least this is how it looked in my in my child's mind eye. It was like white walls, polished marble tile floorings. And it looked so grandiose. At least I think that was China. Maybe that was America. I don't really remember. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> Donate this glowing painting and <laughs> get done with this episode. <laughs> because we're, we're going downhill. I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you, Blabbers. Um, let's round off this episode here anyway. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons and I've been Dear Darling. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.